Hey guys, how's it going? Ooh. Art vlog 14. So um, today is a pretty long morning. Uh, got up at about five. Uh, obviously, I've been working on those. Uh, had to run over to my buddy Andre's house. Uh, he helped me out with some uh, art supplies and uh, gave me some things or for future trades and stuff like that. Um, collage is still drying up. Um, I actually, hmm, yeah, I'm not gonna tell you. I had another thought that would like make this really pop, but uh, it would mean I have to put things in there that are about 80 bucks worth. So, um, anyway, I'm gonna put a little pin on that. We'll get back to that. But um, if that doesn't sell, there's gonna be more done to it. Um, let's see. So I'm working on these lighters as promised yesterday. Um, let's see. Yeah, let me show you uh, some of it. Then I'm gonna show you how I did it. <laughs> how I did it. I'll show you how I do it. Uh, I picked out a comic book here. Um, have some stuff, how to do it, scissors and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll show you how I make these things. So obviously you want to buy some freaking, buy some freaking lighters, all right? Cheap lighters, expensive lighters, all of that stuff is entirely up to you. But uh, I like these clear ones because um, when an image is smaller like this one, it's pretty cool to, um, you know, the, the lighter itself adds to the little art on it. So, in the same vein of my uh, medium, which is uh, working with comic book images, you know, um, these are also cut out of uh, comic books. None of these are copied or printed out, so uh, all of this is just cut up paper I got out of uh, magazines or comic books that I find or buy. So, uh, yeah. Let's see. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Da -da 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 -da. So, hmm. let me zoom out here. There we go. Nice. Look at that lens. So, yeah. This is a book I've had for a while. Whatever. I think it's a fairly new book. It's like done in the style of the old books. But, so I went through this already. Just for this, uh, whatchamacallit, tutorial or whatever it is. Uh, so yeah, there's your process. You kind of look through these, find an image that hits you or, you know, like this one right here. I can cut that out in a square and uh, there it says, why, of course, they sound like reds. So yeah, that's a good one. I might do that. Let's see. Oh, that one's good. That's like a nice little image. Uh, yeah, that one's good. I think I'll do that. Oh, oh, well, let's see. There's. I think I saw a weirder one. Ah, oh, nice. That's a good one. Yeah, it's too too big though. Hmm. I've been watching you quite a while. I. I know. I've been waiting for you to. Do something. That's a good. That's a good one. Uh, la, 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 la. Oh, but yeah, obviously, like stuff like this is more fun. I'm just doing this as a little example for you guys. So I think. Let's see. Did I bend any more pages here? Yeah. What did I see here? Hmm. Probably that. Eh. All right. So, I think I'm gonna go with, actually, just for fun, let's see. Yeah, right there. There's a good image. It's a good image. Hold on a sec, guys. Let me rip this out. Don't need to demonstrate how to rip paper out, right? So, there we go. Uh, okay, so maybe, I can't find my tripod because I've been doing a lot of different things, but, uh, Let's see, um, just gonna cut this out and then we'll see how it fits, so. This is like the worst tutorial. <laughs> Whatever, man. Use your, um, 
theater of the mind. Flip yourself around. Just cut that. Pretend you're looking through my eyes. There. Proof that I cut that out. <laughs> Alright. Let's cut cut it so it looks nice. Sometimes, you know, you can cut out the actual um, character. You know, kinda, 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 kinda. I didn't do any of that, but, you know, like, cut around the line. Sometimes these actually look kind of, hold on, they look a little better. Alright. So, yeah. Okay. So, I'm not gonna cut around, but let's see. So, what we do now grab a lighter I think I'll go with no red yeah red go with red for this so obviously it's too big so you know you know where it can fit it can only go so far so I don't know I'm gonna have to cut out the monsters part no yeah I'm gonna uh, yeah I'm gonna leave the writing in there we don't need the bottom half of a uh, conga there. Alright, I'm gonna do that real quick. It's just not working out, man. Oh my god! Get out of that! Why don't we just put it over here? Sorry, I'm giving everybody vertigo. <sighs> I know this is not exciting at all, but I'll try to make this quick since this is just to show you, but you know, I'm not going to just waste it. But, uh, then you want to wrap it around the lighter, right? This way you'll know how much excess paper you need to cut out. I recommend making like a template piece of paper and then, you know, finding your images and lay over them and cut out the part that's under your template. Alright, cool. Alright, I like that. Gonna have to go right there. Cool. Need to cut a little bit more. You don't want this to go from like end to end. You want there to be like a couple of millimeters on each end. Uh, like so. See, there's room on the bottom, and there's still room on top. All right. It's too long. Monsters. All right. Cut that off. Okay, useful trick. Obvious, but uh, just put like a thing on it, a ruler, and then just pull it so it gives it a curve. That way it'll adhere to the thing better, and the corners won't peel up. Useful tip. Okay. Next, we take our glue here. You guys can uh, use this. You can use Mod Podge. You can use straight up Elmer's school glue. Uh, you can use anything you want that glues things. So in this case I'm using this because I was using it for that collage. So I have it handy. Get your uh, foam brush right here. Okay, and get rid of that. Okay, so we have our lighter, have our thing. I'm gonna glue this, so I'm gonna put you guys down again. Let's see if I can get a little elevation going here. Mm, probably not. That would be all right. Uh, unfortunately. Alright. My apologies. Well, it's right there in front of you guys. Slatter some glue on there. Don't like drown in it, but uh, I'm just spreading it out. Get rid of excess. Do a little more. Make sure it gets on every edge. Edges are the most important. Alright, you got it on there, then you put it on a lighter. That's the trick people forget. 
Those of you that know this, please uh, don't comment in the section saying, oh, this is obvious. This is for those people that kind of want to make these for themselves at home, and they never messed around with this nonsense, so. Plus, this is an art vlog. I'm just showing what I'm doing. Alright, so. Brush it on. There you go. As such. Alright. Give it a second. You want to, like, let it tacky up a little bit. Let it get a little goopy. Alright. Pick your side, your main side that you wanted to display the main image. And then it's as easy as a sticker. Kind of digging that Ditko right there in the middle. Ditko right there. Something like that. Yeah, that works. I dig it. All right, so wrap it around, close it up. Uh, I like using these rulers right here. It's a good way to get the bubbles out. Just put it there, put it there. Give it a quick press. And that's it. No bubbles. Done deal. So, there we go. There's a, there you go, guys. Monsters. Cool, right? So you let this dry and then one more time give it one more coat so that it seals it in. And you're good to go, pretty much. Um, these are my older ones from a few years back. Um, they also have a protective finish on top. As you can see, it's like way um, shinier. So uh, that that process takes a little while because you need to wait for the the glue that's water-based to dry and then you put on this other chem chemical but it makes these really resilient so like this is years it's been tumbling around in my uh, office and boxes and drawers and you know it still looks nice and shiny and you know it's pretty cool I dig it so that's how I do those Oof. there you go guys let me uh, close up close up I guess a little bit for you So I made these for uh, Wizard World Comic Con years ago. I don't remember what year it was, probably 2014, I think. Um, and I did really well with my collages there. It sold pretty much everything. And uh, these lighters I just kind of made for fun. And people just bought them up. I was really happy about that. I mean, they're pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, the, the main thing is having the images you want to put on there. Make sure they're images you like you know and uh that's all it is look at all these awesome looking lighters so yeah oh excuse me plus this new one right there so yeah uh next what i'm gonna do is make a bunch of other like that's it for power ranger lighters i just wanted to make uh i don't know there's probably about 25 there um so that's it for power rangers next i'm gonna do some uh you know like marvel uh, DC, do some Batman, do some Spider-Man, do some other stuff. All sorts of things that are in the pop culture, obviously. So <laughs> that's uh, that's the name of this art style that I do here, I guess. It's a pop art montage and 3D collage. Comic books out of their pages. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. Uh, right now what I'm going to do is just uh, give a quick shout out to the first 117. Uh, this morning I uh, paid a visit to my boy there, Andre, and uh, he hooked me up with this. Um, it's uh, obviously the pop. I have it here. I have one in box. Literally had to hunt for that. But anyway, that's what that looks like. It's the pop, whatever. So this one's gonna make its way into a 3D collage, kind of like that. And uh, we'll see how that all works out. So Andre, thank you so much. I'll definitely, it will work something out as a thank you for this. Alright, he also hooked me up with this if you guys uh, want to check out uh, where where these came from. Uh, his boy Steve actually like went out hunting and got him a whole ton of these uh, different ones, different seasons and stuff like that, all for five bucks at the, the GameStop sale thing. So, he hooked me up with this. I need the weapon for my non-metallic one, so I was really stoked when he was like, yeah, you can grab that. So, 
Andre, thank you. I'll, uh, again, hook you up with something as a thank you. Uh, let's see. Gave me something else. Oh, yeah, he gave me some sunshine in a bag. So, uh... Um, I think that's it. Um, yeah. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. This has been, um... Art vlog number 14. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope the awful, awful angles with which I was filming, uh... Uh, they obviously didn't show you anything, but it's pretty straightforward once again. You know, you just cut out the image, glue it on, you're good to go. <laughs> Simple as that. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Thanks, everyone. Uh, tune in tomorrow, where maybe I'll show you some of the other stuff I made, and uh, I'll be working on more, more of these. I might finish all the lighters up today. I'm not sure. I need to get back to making collages, because I need to make at least six small pieces that I can take to the show with me. So yeah. Alright guys, thank you so much. I'm really going this time. Uh, this has been Artlog number 14. My name's Nazar. Check out my Instagram at NostalgicArt and uh, NostalgicTV. Two different accounts, one's for just my art, and the TV one is just whatever I post that I feel like, so. But yeah. All right, that's it. Have another look-see at these, and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.